Hi guys, it's um, 1.45 in the morning and I'm finally by myself. <laughs> Which I know doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1.45 in the morning, but um, this week's been pretty hectic and there have been a lot of people, um, a lot of people around telling me what to do, giving me advice, um, trying to help me um, most importantly. and and. That was a lot, and 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 I, and now I I, I just wanna I want to be able to do this and just shoot straight into the camera and just talk to you guys. Um, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions, and I've never done this correctly, and I've never done this respectfully. And my last video is a testament to that. I I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video isn't going to be is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Cat, or any other woman involved. Um, I'm going to be using words um, that may trigger some survivors, and that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely, and I can explain every situation appropriately. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as it was reported, the next day I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. And I, what, what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. And that's fucked up, and I'm sorry. When she later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately took it down, and I wanna apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. It was completely wrong and I wish I was more responsible and I wish I was more aware at the time and, I, and I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was, was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. I don't want to use buzzwords to try to justify this or explain this, but all I can say is people felt like they had to be silent for the sake of my video. And that's not right and it's fucked up and I'm sorry. I also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about Allie and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Um, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. I am sorry that I, that I took Dom's word um, for what happened those, in those certain situations and I didn't believe you. And not only did I not believe you, but I made a joke of, of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine doing this to people and actually hurting people and, and, and I'm sorry for that. Not only did I discredit you, Ali, but I platformed Dom. And not only did I platform Dom, but I platformed the subject of sexual in a negative way where I made jokes about it and I reinforced that kind of behavior. And I'm so sorry. And I really let not only you down, but a lot of people down, a lot of people that watch me and my friends and family for that. I made the decision to no longer film with Dom in 2019. And I'm not saying my content has been brilliant since then, but that's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic and what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I, I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people and that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my content shifted to be more responsible and positive, I said and did things that were really offensive and I called them bad jokes and I, and I can't even call them bad jokes and it was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark um, because it's fucking gross and I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out and I don't agree with how this should be taken at all. And I think when there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself, to learn and improve and to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. And that's why it is so important 
to hold yourself accountable. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes that I made and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've let down. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure when I make any kind of content. And I wanna be able to have a place of checks and balances. I wanna have HR and I wanna be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right to go back to posting like I have been and it also doesn't feel right to go dark because I love what I do. But I think it is important to show that change is possible and that I'm learning, maybe even forgiveness is possible. I wanna use this opportunity to step up and own my mistakes, and like I said before, I've never done apology the right way. Um, and I'm sure I'm gonna look back at this and I'm, I'm gonna be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more. Um, but this is, this is my beginning to that, and, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also wanna add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I wanna be able to, to hear and understand from yourselves and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people um, because I still have a lot of learning to do and I think when you talk to other people, especially about experiences like this, it, um, it really helps you see things in a different way. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble and, and I, I really truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience that another creator can can take away from this and i know it's it feels i because i know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group but really just take the moment especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of like really take a moment and and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin because i think that's so incredibly important. Okay, um, I'll see you guys, bye.